What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about something that really I don't want to talk about. Okay, I want to talk about if Scream could be potentially uh, delayed. Now, we talked about before what are some options of where you could put this movie if uh, you know if you didn't necessarily want to do theaters back you know several months ago when things were still you know somewhat bad but maybe there was you know uh, there was a light in sight right things were getting better do you put it on a streaming service do you do it like on Paramount Plus or something and that's definitely an option it's something you know I want to talk about in this video considering I believe what they have the agreement where it's going to go to Paramount Plus anyway afterwards it's just going to take you know a month and a half to get there well the thing is is, and I, I made this video on my second channel. If you guys want to check that out, all those links are in the description. I made a video on the second channel where I talked about Spider-Man No Way Home. And I said almost the same thing, right? I don't want to say it. I have a bad feeling about it. I'm not saying I'm some, like, prophet. I'm, like, some, you know, person from the future that, that's seen these things. I, I hope I'm wrong. I want to be wrong. I really do. And I, and I hope that, you know, what I say is not true. But I just get a horrible feeling that's only gotten worse especially with what we've seen in theaters which i want to talk about that these movies are not going to make it in terms of when they're supposed to release i really feel like they could be pushed and i don't like saying that in fact I, again i despise it because the only two movies i'm going to tell you this flat out the only two movies i actually care about at all over the next uh well up until scream let's even say february up until february is spider-man scream and the uncharted movie the Uncharted movie is probably going to be a disaster. Scream, I really hope it's good. I think it's going to be good. Spider-Man can go either way, okay? That's really all I have to look forward to in terms of movies. You could say that's pathetic. I would agree with you, all right? If these movies get pushed, that's not going to be a good thing at all, in my opinion. Um, And, and why do I say that? Well, again, it's very... <laughs> Like, another reason why I don't want to make these videos, and you could say, well, Alex, you keep complaining. If you don't want to make them, don't make them. I mean, it's a, it's a figure of speech. Maybe people have heard of it. But, you know, I like I want to talk about it. But it's also difficult because I can't mention certain words on YouTube, right? Because YouTube gets very upset whenever you talk about anything with, and I call it the stuff around the world. I think we all know, hopefully, what I'm talking about. So to give my reasons is a bit difficult on YouTube, but I guess I'll sum it up by saying this. Obviously, things are getting a little bit worse. Um, I'm okay. I hope you guys are doing okay at home and, and staying safe, but also living your life. And living your life, by the way, however you choose that you want to. I don't care. It's up to you. And that's something that not everybody's going to say to you, but I want to make it very uh, clear that's where I stand, okay? That's just an aside. However, the things are things are obviously getting worse, okay? Cases are going up, and that's as far as I'm going to say with that. And now, even movies that are doing bad in the box office, even though, like, Suicide Squad is kind of the one I'm hinting at, right? That movie, I don't blame the stuff around the world at all for what that did in the box office. I think when you have a movie that comes out basically for free on a stream, you would pay $15 a month, which, by the way, is what I did. You pay 15 a month, and you get the movie for free on a streaming service versus having to go to the movie theaters, which you can ma maybe there's people out there that say it's dangerous. I don't feel like I'm in danger when I go. However, I will say this. It's more expensive. I have a family of three. Now, I have a daughter. She probably wouldn't see the Suicide Squad, but still a family of two, me and my wife. If we go, that's already like 25 bucks then you got to drive there then you got to get that so okay well you know it's a maybe i'm wasting your guys's time and i don't want to do that but bottom line what we're already seeing okay is cases going up and what we're already seeing is movies being the the box office failures being blamed on the stuff around the world even though it's not even their fault but people are still thinking that and when you push that kind of stuff out there people are going to buy it uh, even more in terms of buy the you know buy the lies i would almost argue so that's not all. We have Venom. Venom trailer came out, and they didn't even give the release date. Even though the release date's September 24th, and we all know that, they didn't show the release date at the end of the trailer. Not good. In fact, it's already been delayed internationally. That is a confirmed story. That has actually happened. There's rumors that Spider-Man and Venom will be delayed in general. Now, those are only rumors. However, we've already gotten the first step, again, with internationally being delayed. We also have, I would argue... The biggest issue of them all, no matter how good or bad you think it is right now, and no matter what your thoughts are about any of this stuff, okay, facts are there's no doubt in my mind it's going to get worse into the winter because winter is literally the flu season, okay? No, I'm not going to go any further into that than just saying that, but as you get into the colder weather, there's going to be an increase of case. It's liter there's no stopping it. It's what's going to happen. And what movies come out 
literally at the worst timing in terms of the freezing cold, what movies come out? Well, again, Spider-Man is like not dead in the middle because December can still be like, okay. But January with Scream, right? January 14th is a very cold. Historically, it's a cold month. If you guys didn't know that cold month in January. So I don't feel good about it. I don't feel good. I know a lot of this is jokes. I know a lot of this is kind of dancing around the point or dancing around saying certain words. I understand that. I feel like I'm in a lighter kind of mood, and I want to be in a lighter kind of mood when I'm talking about something that is almost depressing because I do, like, I, I know what's up. I know we're excited for this movie. I know, you know, you, the individual listening, I know I, you guys hopefully know that I am, right? I really want this movie. So do I want it to be pushed to April or May? No, no, I do not. Do I think that it's necessary? No, no, I do not. Um, do I think it could maybe go on a streaming service instead? I mean, that's where the dilemma lies, right? And that's actually what we talked about several months ago when, when I asked that question. I know there was other people that were asking the question too. The, the issue is, like, like I am a movie going Like, I know th- what I've described so far. You may not think I'm a movie-going guy. I'm not a horror guy, and I've you know you guys know that by now. I've said that multiple times. But I, I am a movie guy. I mean, I like to see some of the... I'm not like... I, I like to see the bigger movies, just movies that interest me, okay? There's a, there's some big movies I skip out on. There's a lot of little movies I skip out on, but I see some of them, right? But I just, I generally enjoy movies. And and back in the day, I used to go see like 30 to 40 movies a year. I actually was more insane back like four, five, six years ago, okay? More recently, I haven't done it. And with that being said, though, I do love the movie theater experience. And, and that's kind of, you know, that again, dancing around the point, that is my point. I think for a movie like Scream... It needs to be in theaters. It, do- it does. It's like, I know it's almost a, like it's a cheesy thing to say that, right? Because it's like, well, do they need to be in theaters? Like I saw the Suicide Squad at home. I saw Wonder Woman at home. Like, did that make a difference versus the movie? I really don't think it did. I mean, it's it would be a bigger screen. You get to see the visuals bigger, the sound, right? But I honestly feel like I would have had the exact same thoughts about some of these movies as I, you know, as I did if I saw it in theaters. But I just feel like with a movie like Scream, and maybe it's just because of the past. It's a, it's part of an existing franchise, right? Things like that. I want to be able to go. I want people to, like, see it night one, day two, day three, and, like, we all get to experience it together where it's like, did you see that coming? Did you guess who the kid? Like, like that, and I don't know if you get that when you're at home. And then, and then yeah, there is the added thing where it's, like, scares and horror and loud noises work better when the audio is better and when the audio is louder, and you get that at the movies. You don't get that at home, for the most part, depending on, I guess, your setup, right? Most people, okay? So that's another thing. I I do think a movie like Scream does factually get enhanced by being in a movie theater. I do. I think that. So, again, it's something I I, I hate even discussing because I don't want it to come true. It's just something I wanted to, you know, ask the question, bring it up to you guys, see what you guys think about it. So let me know. Let me know. Do you have a bad feeling about it? Do you think it's going to make that January date? Do you think it gets pushed back? Let me know what you guys think. As always, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel, bell icon turned on so you know all the videos go up. Again, if you want to follow me on any of my other social media accounts, my second channel, my Twitter, we have a Patreon and YouTube memberships. They're all in the description below. All the links for them are there. I know this was a random other screen video and I definitely appreciate anybody that chose to watch this and watch it this far there will be the normal one on Tuesday and any news that happens on the movie obviously I'm going to cover I just wanted to do this kind of extra video as well okay thank you for watching and I'll see you all on the next video